Hello, my name is Hassan Lakis. Welcome to the third tutorial on enlargements. And as you can see, I've drawn some shapes. I've actually hidden the centers of enlargement. So that's what we want to discuss today is how to find the center of enlargement and what the scale factor is. And if there's time to have a look at uh, the ratio of the areas. We'll start with this blue one here. Um, which has been enlarged to give this, I think it's purple color. And we would like to know where the center of rotation is and what the scale factor of enlargement is. Well, as you can see, um, that length there is one unit and that's two. So we should think that the scale factor is uh, two. That's one and that's also two. That's four and that's 2. So 2 confirms it. So where is the center? Well to locate the center you simply join each point to its image with a straight line and if you select another point say that one and the corresponding image point which is I believe that one straight line where they meet there is the center of enlargement. So that's a positive um, enlargement scale factor to center and you need to write the coordinates of this point and it's one zero. Okay so what about from the blue to the green? It's obvious we've used the same center you can see that What's different? Well, it's a negative enlargement. If you imagine the shape rotated 180 degrees, it'll fit onto that one. I'll just prove that to you. If I unhide this point here and select this image, I'll just double do that again. Don't worry about how to use Autograph. That's a separate um, video which you can see on my website, matsmalakis.com. Um, rotation, and we're going for 180 degrees, and it should fit on top of the other one, and it does. I'll just remove um, the construction lines, and there we are. So if there's enough room, you can rotate the shape, you can enlarge it at scale factor plus two, and then rotate that one using tracing paper to get the final image if it's a negative enlargement. Or you can rotate this one 180, and then enlarge it positive plus two. I'll just undo um, the image and get back to where we were before. Now let's have a look at it, um, some animation. Um, autograph is very dynamic in that respect. If we decrease the scale factor, it's now going towards the negative side. And when it's negative 2, what do we expect to happen? We expect it to fit. Excellent. Just an automatic animation say from minus um, 3, from minus 2 to 2, you can, depends on your axis, uh, steps of point 1, slow it down, okay, and play. And there we have it. And you can pause at any time and have a discussion. What about the area when the scale factor was 2. The area of the image is 4 times bigger. It's 2 squared. We squared the scale factor. Even if it's negative 2, it's also 4 times bigger. Okay, I'll just stop there. And let's have a look at um, this one here. Now, we want to locate the center of enlargement. And if we repeat what we did there, which is to join each point to its image, 
and join it in a straight line, we can hopefully see where we can locate the center of enlargement. And it's over here. If you join that point to that one with a straight line, you'd also it goes through there. Now that we know where it is, it's a minus six, minus three in terms of coordinates. I'll just unhide it, and there it is. Now, so what's the scale factor? It's positive, isn't it? Because if it was negative, it would have been on the other side down here, just like that one was on the other side of the center to the, to the object. Well, this length here is 1, 2, 3, 4, and this one here is 6. Ratio of 4 to 6 is 1 to 1 and a half. So in other words, if you take that length and you add half of it to it, you'd get 6. Um, you happy with that? Now, it's difficult to look at those lengths there, so let's have a look at the basic principles, which is from there to there, and from there to there. It's not difficult to see. I've gone diagonally on, the, on this rectangle, two squares across, and then I've gone half of the two squares. So it's one and a half times. So the scale factor is one and a half, and it's a positive one. Center minus six, um, minus three. Let's animate that so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> it tells you it's 1.5 already. Increase it to 2. That's the situation you get. I'll just move that across so you can see it. And then if I move further up, uh, bring it down um, to a half. Sorry, to a half. And you can see that length is. Um, the original length is 4, and that's a half of it. What happens when the scale factor is negative? We we'll go to negative a half. The length is still um, half the original length, but now it's on the other side of the center. Similar to what I said here, um, you can rotate that 180 and then reduce it by a scale factor of 2, or enlarged by a scale factor of a half. Be careful with those words. They prefer to use enlargement, scale factor a half. Decrease it further, it's minus a half, sorry. Decrease it further, it's exactly the same. If I move that up a little bit more, maybe we can go to minus 2. Uh, nearly there. So, setting up the axis in the first place, is important. So that's an enlargement um, scale factor minus 2, center minus 6, minus 3. So what about the area of this in relation to that? Well, the scale factor is minus 2, the, the ratio of the areas would be 1 to 4, it would be 4 times larger. When it was one and a half, if you square one and a half, you get two point two. Uh, you get um, two and a quarter, yeah, two point two five. And so it's two and a quarter times bigger. Okay, let's just have a bit of uh, play with the animation. I'll go again from minus two to two. Steps of point one. Nearly there, okay, and play. Okay, I'll just close that and I'll bring the screen back down a bit. And what I'm going to ask you about is. Um, just to look at uh, what happens when we move that inside the shape. Just drag it down so you can see it. 
how easy is it, if that's the center here, to enlarge that shape, um, say, scale factor uh, 2. Just bear with me a second. I'm going to change that to 2. Um, enter. So, at the moment, the blue one has been a large scale factor plus 2 to give you that light bluish color. How does one do it? Well, in my opinion, it depends whether they're squares or not. Um, if you look at the center and you go, that's one unit, you're doubling that, you need two units. That's easy to do because it's a vertical line. The others, use your compass and you open your compass to that size then pivot here, keep the size correct, uh, the same and do an arc here and this one here open it to there, the compass pivot here and do another arc here furthermore once you've drawn um, once you've joined each point it's, um, to the center it's not difficult, once you've done that one there it's not difficult to see that these lines here are parallel that's parallel to that one so if that's four units you want that to be six can you see that? okay well that's all I have time for I hope I've covered, let me just go down to minus two and show you what happens Do you notice a difference? Well, let's animate so you can see it. That's negative 2 enlargement. Center minus 6 uh, minus 1. Now it's going to look positive. Can you see the difference? Down to negative. What did you notice? Is there a rotation of 180? I'll leave you to think about that. Until the next video, take care. Thanks for watching.